Welcome to Amanda's World. On today's episode, I am going to do Lexi, so let's get started. Great reading. Read along with this part of the passage. Listen to how it is read smoothly and with expression. A cave full of bats. Every spring, female bats fly north from Mexico. They fly to caves and other places. There, they give birth to their babies and take care of them. Next, read the whole passage to find out more. You can try reading aloud smoothly and with expression. As you read, you will fill in missing words. Press this button to read the passage.
great reading. Read along with this part of the passage. Listen to how it is read smoothly and with expression. Liz meets a friend. Liz handed Dave a note, and in her note, she wrote, Meet me at the east gate of the park at three. Liz got to the gate at three, and she was mad when Dave was late. Next, read the whole passage to find out more. You can try reading aloud smoothly and with expression. As you read, you will fill in missing words. Press this button to read the passage. Great reading. Read along with this. This sentence has a word that's missing a prefix. Read the sentence and choose the prefix to complete the word.
Your skills are getting stronger. Nice work. You're strengthening your skills. Terrific. How can a statue communicate? Without words or gestures, a statue can stand for something that is more than you might think. Island. An island is land with water all around it. So, this is Liberty and Lunar Harbor. On an island in New York a harbor, a mighty woman holds a torch. Torch. A torch is a short pole with fire on the end. Torch. High for all to see. She is known as as the Statue of Liberty. Statue. A statue is a sculpture of a person or animal. Liberty. Liberty is freedom. Yes, that's correct. Liberty is freedom. Liberty means freedom of the statue. Liberty is a symbol. Symbol. A symbol is something that stands for another thing. Yeah, like fire stands for the, like a symbol. Like we can draw a symbol and we can make a symbol. This would have a colored box, like a piece of jelly, maybe a rectangle. What is the a little like one and yes get that get the get the get the and then you get the get a flat cardboard sheet stick it Park is somewhere. Symbol of freedom. That means she stands for the idea of freedom. She is a symbol of the United States. The statue of liberty also stands for the friendship. Friendship. Friendship is when people are friends. Is that the, is that true? Between France and the United States, French people gave the statue to the United States in 1884. Wow. A broken chain lies by the bomb of the statue's long rope. I mean, robe. The chain stands for the end of slavery. Slavery. Slavery is when people treat other people as property. That's true.
sorry guys, I was just talking to my sister for, for a bad day. And the end of harsh rules. Harsh. Harsh means cruel. What does cruel mean and what does harsh mean? Well, I know what harsh means, but what does cruel mean? A statue holds a tablet and is on a symbol of laws. What are numerals? Numerals. A numeral is a number. Times is not a number. Or X is. The same thing as times. Times is smaller than an X. Numerals on on the on the table named July fourth. 1776. On that date, Americans declared their independence. Independence. Independence is self-rule. From British rule. Seven rays in the are in the state's crown. They stand for the words seven seas and seven continents. Continents. A continent is a very big area of land. The statue's torch is like a welcoming light. Um, it seems to say, this is the way to freedom. What is the main idea of this passage? The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of friendship between French people and Americans. What is a symbol for the end of slavery? In this passage, you learn about symbols. How do symbols communicate? You read about different ways to communicate. No matter how you share your thoughts and feelings, by speaking, using gestures, making symbols, or all three, it's not how you communicate, but what you share that matters. Where can you find a dog that talks? Or a fox that acts like a person? In a fable. A fable is a short story with a moral, or a lesson about something helpful in life. Can these fables help you? Decide what you think. There's no right or wrong answer. It's all about you. It would be interesting to read a story that teaches a moral about... That would be interesting. Now it's time to read old tales with helpful morals. In this fable, Crow has a meal that Fox wants, and Fox has a plan to get it. Will Crow escape Fox's trick, or learn a hard lesson? Chunk. A chunk is a big piece.
feathers. A feather is a covering on a bird's body. Gleam. To gleam is to shine. Like a diamond. Beautiful. Beautiful means pretty. Trotted. To trot is to jog. Oh, no. What is this story mainly about? A fox tells crow. What does fox tell crow? He looks what happens when the crow sings? The cheese falls to the ground. Where does this story take place? Near a tree, near a, by a building, near the ocean, near a table, by a tree. Which dog's meat looks tastier, the one on the bridge or the one in the water? Or is that the same dog? In this fable, what lesson can we learn from the dog's mistake? Hmm. Water. Water is a liquid that fills streams, rivers, and lakes. Mirror. A mirror is a kind of glass that reflects things. What is this story mainly about? Look back at the picture. How does it help you understand why the water is like a mirror? The dog leaped into the water. What does leaped mean? What is the moral of this fable? Look back at the details in this story and think about what important message they teach. Many stories have a main message that teaches. 
The message may not be stated exactly, but you can think about the details all together to figure it out. What important message or idea does this story show? Use the highlighted parts of the passage to help you. You may need to scroll down. What is the moral of this fable? <laughs> Children around the world learn lessons from the morals of fables told by famous storytellers. But did you know that anyone can create their own fable. Here's how. Decide. To decide is to make a choice. Like free choice. Why did the author write this passage? In this passage, why does the author use the words first, next, after that, and finally? I don't know. Time else is great. Look back at the passage. Reread paragraph four. What is another big idea that could be in a fable? What happens to characters in fables? In fables, animals do things that you can learn from, and these stories teach lessons. When you write your next fable, what lesson will you teach? Oh, yes! I'm about to complete level 11. Read along with this part of the passage. Listen to how it is read smoothly and with expression. Whoa! I mean, it's almost a complete ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being with us. Bye! I'll see you on the next episode!